up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com, alongside... Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com. So I, I actually looked over, and uh, Steve, I'm, we're, we share an office. We're, we're, I'm not that balling yet where I get the corner office. There's, Steve and I, we share not even a corner. It's like a side yeah, office. But there's a lot of gains in this office. He was editing a piece um, on our content site, content.tigerfitness.com, or just go to our front page and, of course, type on it. And it was an article about Ronnie Coleman written by my man Derek Chioka. Chioka. Is that how does he pronounce it? I don't know. He's Italian. But anyway. Anyway, so check it out. So I'm, I'm, re I'm looking at this, and I saw this quote, and I saw the title, and I'm like, this has to be probably the best thing we've ever printed in this magazine. Can you read that? There was one quote. Here's this quote. All right. Um, does Ron Ronnie, Ronnie Coleman have what? Six surgeries? Six major surgeries. So the, the question in the article, they're talking about, does he regret training as hard as he did? This is what he had to say. It was worth it without a doubt, but yes, I would have done it differently. No, wait. If I could go back, I would have trained harder. After six surgeries, he said he didn't train hard enough. He would have trained harder. Harder. I know for a fact that I could have done four reps on that 800-pound squat instead of two, but I had two in my mind before I even picked up the weight, so that's what I did. So, yes, I would go back and train even harder and be damn sure to get four reps on an 800-pound squat. And this is so surreal. I mean, it's it's one of those things where you look at it and what separates the greats from the normal people. And it's that mindset that I, even if you go as hard as you can, you think I could have done that little extra. I could have hit that game winning home run. I could have made that game saving tackle. I could have made that pass that led us to the, 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 the win that led us to the championship. And that's what champions think in business as well. You can, I could have worked an extra two hours a day. I could have done this. So even what I've seen is with CEOs, even when they reach the level where they're making billions of dollars, you go to like a Buffett or a Trump or any of those guys, they'll be like, you know what? I could have done this better. They don't say, oh no, I did everything perfect. And they just look, you know what? I did well, but I could have done better. And I think it's that champion mindset that sets Ronnie Coleman apart from anyone and no one will ever touch him. I'll say this for the record. Phil Heath could be better than Ronnie, but he doesn't train as hard as Ronnie. And Phil Heath will admit that no one trains as hard as Ronnie did. Ronnie combined a perfect storm of genetics, hard work, and discipline that no one else, I think, will ever duplicate in this world alongside superior genetics. What are your thoughts, Steve? Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not really surprised by reading this because anybody that reaches a top level of anything and I'm, I'm by no means a top level power lifter but I understand what Ronnie is saying here every day you get up and you say what could I do better what could I improve on and that you know people want to hear you know what what's the magic program what's the magic motivation what's the magic the magic is get when you have it inside you you get up every day and you're like what could I do better you look back I want to do better there's an obsession there that that most people don't understand. So when I see Ronnie Coleman say this, it doesn't surprise me at all. Honestly, it does a little for me. I mean, I'll, I'll be real. I've met Ronnie. He's I've talked to him at breakfast, and he said, I remember I'm sitting there with him, Lee, um, and, and, and Ronnie, and one other guy from his company, and Alyssa was there, and we were in Massachusetts doing our tour. And he was just like, yeah, I could have done that. Or, you know, I could have been a little sharper that year. Just like, no regret. You could tell he had no, like, pressing regrets. You could tell he was like, I did all I could, but I could have done more. Right. And even sitting down and talking with him and spending nearly a week in Massachusetts with him and all the times we spent time together here when he does his tour of Ohio and we do the events at Power Station. And I know his mindset. I broke bread with him multiple times, trained with him multiple times. Even reading that, I mean, he's this is since I've seen him, he's had two hip replacements. This is only within a couple months. I saw him in, what was that, summer? I mean, beginning of summer, he had two hip replacements and another back surgery. And he's saying he would have trained harder. Why? So he could be, he's the greatest of all time, but he wanted to be so great that no one would even come within 10 miles of what he's accomplished. And that's the mindset. And he still trains like he's competing for the damn Olympia. You know, one, one of my favorite parts of this article is um, when they talk about him traveling 300 days a week. A year. A, a year. He's, not, he's a super a week. He goes back to the future and shit. Hey, he I'm a, a meathead. I fail at me. How does, how does he fit in a DeLorean? That's my right. question. So he says he, tra he, uh, he traveled 300 days a year, 
And he was so dedicated to, to this commitment that the last event he was rolling around in a wheelchair yep. just to get this done. That's how committed he was. At the uh, uh, Arnold Australia, he was in a wheelchair. Yeah, so it, uh, there's a lot of great stuff in this piece. And a lot of great information. It's not just the same old Ronnie Coleman piece you're going to find on the net, but there's a lot of gems like that in this piece. So I encourage you to head over to Tiger Fit and check it out. I'm linking it down below, but uh, honestly, this is a great piece, and this is the stuff we come to expect at our content site. No, nobody touches what we have on the content side. It's going to just keep getting better and better. So while you're at it, subscribe to our newsletter. That way you don't miss any of this stuff. You could also belch while talking. That way you don't miss any of this. You don't want to miss the stuff we're putting out from fasted cardio articles to articles on, articles on IFOM to bro dieting to bro training to full body training to vegan training to vegan diet. We do everything. It covers every part of fitness. We're not just a strength site. We're not just a bodybuilding site. We're all about fitness. So if you hit that search function you'll find what you're looking for yeah all about fitness i before i even got involved in bodybuilding powerlifting it was all about fitness. we had some shit on parkour isn't that where yeah just... we got like the 10 best parkour channels on instagram we got something for everybody because that ain't for me i'd die my first <laughs> hey look i won't lie if I have to get on the floor, I can't even get off the floor. You know, I'm just I'm, I'm, parkour. I'm just lucky to get out of bed in the morning. Anyway, guys, please click on it. This is this the most inspirational article, and also be sure to check out Ronnie Coleman's supplements because hey, he still got bills to pay, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside my man Steve Shaw, editorial director at TigerFitness.com. Because being the greatest of all time and still thinking you could have done better—that's not a game.